whenever I attend any of your talks about microbiology or CRISPR, I see a spark. I see your passion in, in your facial expressions. It's there. So after all these years working in science, what would be your best recipe for scientists to have this drive always going on and persistent? I think maybe I have a great sense of, uh, you know, dealing with frustrations, obviously. Uh, I know very well how to deal with frustrations. And, and then as well, what is important for me, I just say this because it's, it's I mean, it's personal. Uh, I'm, I'm very energetic. And so I can be very much driven or so ne negatively when things do not work. Then, uh, so, uh, and a way to deal with it actually uh, for myself, and this is what I, I learned at least the last five years, I started to do sport. And this, this uh, allows me to, <laughs> to maybe uh, keep the good energy for my, uh, and, you know, and the good spirit for my work. Uh, when you get older, you realize that the, the, the brain and the body are very, very much connected. <laughs> so this is also tricky. Yeah.